Hello, my name is Wolfgang Kandik. I'm the CTO at Qualys. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, some research that we recently did. Um, my director of vulnerability research, Rodrigo Branco, and myself, we were looking at the effects of hardening the endpoint operating system and to improve the resilience, uh, resilience against common attacks. Um, so we, we selected four attacks that were popular uh, in the last 12 months and ran them against standard editions of operating systems including um, Microsoft Office installed and Adobe Reader installed to see how the attack actually penetrated into the operating system and what hooks and measures were used uh, to make that the malware permanent in the system. And then we looked at what could you do within normal operating system configurations to make this harder for the malware. And um, found out that, that a common, uh, the number of common steps can actually help tremendously. Uh, there's a technology called uh, DEP, Data Execution Prevention, um, has been around in Windows since Service Pack 2, so roughly 2005. If you turn that on, certain malware will simply not run anymore, or certain attacks will not even succeed. Um, DEP is now standard on Windows Vista and Windows 7. Plus, they have a new technology called ASLR, so that's also recommended to turn that on. Um, another uh, in interesting finding that we found was the uh, about Java. Many of the desktops have Java installed, and um, that get, gets frequently attacked. Java is not um, terribly easy to update at this point in time. Uh, so we found out that if you actually whitelist Java, this can be a big advantage in, in uh, defending your system. It's fairly simple to do under Internet Explorer. Uh, there, there are a couple settings in the registry that you can um, adjust to say in Java should only be allowed to run within my trusted sites. So that is the second setting that we would recommend. Thirdly, um, in Adobe Reader, very common in, uh, in attacks, there's a setting uh, to allow JavaScript to run in Adobe Reader. And the majority of exploits that are out there use actually this JavaScript facility to set up the environment for the exploit. So if you are able to turn off JavaScript in, within Adobe Reader, that is a third hardening point that is really interesting uh, and, and you should evaluate that. I personally have not encountered um, a PDF document that actually needs JavaScript to be activated. Uh, I'm sure there are some, but I think as a general policy you should probably turn that off. So those are three of our recommendations. Um, turn on DEP on your operating system, a whitelist JavaScript so it only runs in the trusted site context in Internet Explorer, and turn off JavaScript in your Adobe Reader.